Yeah, good one, good one. That's the stuff. Hey, Bill, I'm working on this webinar invitation in the story. Yeah, what's up? Uh, mate, I'm working on this webinar invitation. I thought I'd get some advice if I could. So you want me to have a look? Please. Cool. Um, Michael, I think it's time. Time, my friend, that you learnt my seven secrets for creating webinar invitations. Please sit. Now, first, let's think about your subject line. Think how many emails you get every day and how many scream, open me. Mm, not many. Exactly. So we've got to make your subject line look sexy so that you want to open it. Okay. So what you've got is advanced selling. Now, that's sexy. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Well, how would you sexy it up, Fabio? Well, I think about asking a question like, what are the most common mistakes your sales team make? Or do you need help advancing your sales skills? Makes sense. And think about using numbers, you know, 10 ways to sell like Carnegie or 11 ways to sell a set of steak knives. Sounds better, doesn't it? Mmm, much better. Seven ways to sell like a dynamo. That's right. See, that tells me what your webinar is about plus what I'll get out of it. Now, how relevant is this to our database? Well, it's relevant to some. I mean, we've got sales managers and we've also got our marketing gurus. Perfect. Let's segment it and send it out to them. Sorted. Now, number three. When are you going to send this email? Well, I was going to send it now, give people some notice. Michael, what are you doing in a month's time, let alone three weeks' time? Well, what does that have to do with my invitation? Well, everything. You want to create a sense of urgency. So send it out one or two weeks before your event. Okay, that does make sense. What else, Monsieur Marketing? Well, it looks a little boring, doesn't it? Well, I was trying to keep it simple. Well, simple is good, but at a minimum, you need a brief overview of your topic, plus four or five key points. So you need to give them information about the time and the date and a little bit about you. You need to build your credibility, so don't be afraid to brag a little. Mm, if you insist. You can even put in a nice picture of yourself. Some information about what you've done, where you've been, and maybe links back to your website or your LinkedIn profile. So once you've mastered the basics, then we need to include the key component. Another photo. Phil, isn't that overkill? No, the link to register. You want to make it easy for them to register. And use a mixture of images and text because different email systems render differently. Hmm, it's great, Bill, but isn't it a bit info heavy? Well, that's the thing. You can include links back to your website or your registration page so you don't bombard them with too much information. Mm, TMI. TMT, too much text. It'll only put them off. Hmm, but we've added images, so we're fine, yeah? Yeah, we're fine. Just make sure you send one dedicated email and even think about doing something a little different. You know, I've got an idea. What we could do is we could get a film crew, we could put together a flash mob, go down to Bondi, get some benefits into the flash mob clip, then get it out on YouTube, go viral with it, and then we've got a kicker registration. Yeah, calm down. We're gonna go into that next. Okay. Thank you.